A schooner SKUNER, is a type of sailing vessel with fore and aft sails on two or more masts, the foremast being shorter than the main and no taller than the mizzen if there is one. Originally gaff rig, modern schooners typically carry a Bermuda rig. Such vessels were first used by the Dutch in the 16th or 17th century. They were further developed in North America from the early 18th century, and came into extensive use in New England. The most common type, with two masts, were popular in trades requiring speed and windward ability, such as slaving, privateering, blockade running, and offshore fishing. In the Chesapeake Bay area several distinctive schooner types evolved, including the Baltimore Clipper, Bug Eye, and Pungee. Schooners were also popular among pirates in the West Indies during the Golden Age of Piracy for their speed and agility. They could also sail in shallow waters, and while being considerably smaller than other ships of the time period, they could still hold enough cannons to intimidate merchant vessels into submission. Schooners were popular on both sides of the Atlantic in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. Long dominating yacht races such as the America's Cup, but gradually gave way in Europe to the Cutter. History Schooners first evolved in the late 17th century from a variety of small two-masted gaff-rigged vessels used in the coast and estuaries of the Netherlands. Most were working craft but some pleasure yachts with schooner rigs were built for wealthy merchants and Dutch nobility. Following the arrival of the Dutch monarch William of Orange on the British throne, the British Royal Navy built a royal yacht with a schooner rig in 1695, HMS Royal Transport. This vessel, captured in a detailed admiralty model, is the earliest fully documented schooner. Royal Transport was quickly noted for its speed and ease of handling, and mercantile vessels soon adopted the rig in Europe and in European colonies in North America. Schooners were immediately popular with colonial traders and fishermen in North America with the first documented reference to a schooner in the United States appearing in Boston and Port Records in 1716. North American shipbuilders quickly developed a variety of schooner forms for trading, fishing and privateering. Etymology A popular legend holds that the first schooner was built by builder Andrew Robinson and launched in Gloucester. Massachusetts, where a spectator exclaimed, Oh how she schoons, schoon being similar to scone, a Scots word meaning to skip along the surface of the water. Robinson replied, A schooner let her be. The launch is variously described as being in 1713 or 1745. Naval architects such as Howard Chappelle have dismissed this invention story as a childish fable, but some language scholars feel that the legend may support the American origin of the word, if not the invention of the vessel. According to the language scholar Walter William Skeet, the term schooner comes from schoon, while the school spelling comes from the later adoption of the Dutch spelling. Another study suggests that a Dutch expression praising ornate schooner yachts in the 17th century, in schoonership may have led to the term schooner being used by English speakers to describe the early versions of the schooner rig as it evolved in England and America. The Dutch word schooner means nice, good-looking. Other sources state the etymology is unknown and uncertain. The first detailed definition of a schooner, describing the vessel as two-masted vessel with fore and aft gaff-rigged sails appeared in 1769 in William Falconer's Universal Dictionary of the Marine. Schooner Sail Plan Although a schooner may have up to seven masts, the typical schooner has only two, with the foremast shorter than the main mast. There may be a bowsprit to help balance the rig. The principal issue with a schooner sail plan is how to fill the space between the two masts most effectively. Traditional schooners were gaff rig, and the trapezoid shape of the foresail occupied the intermast space to good effect. With a useful sail area and a low center of effort, a Bermuda rigged schooner typically has four triangular sails a mainsail, a mainstay sail abaft the foremast, plus a forestay sail and a jib forward of the foremast. 
An advantage of the staysail schooner is that it is easily handled and reefed by a small crew, as both staysails can be self-tacking. The main staysail will not overlap the mainsail, and so does little to prepare the wind for the mainsail, but is effective when close hold or when on a beam reach. Although the main staysail has less area than an equivalent gaff sail, a loose-footed fisherman may be flown above the main staysail to maximize drive in light airs. The fisherman's staysail, a four-sided fore and aft sail, is not strictly a staysail, but is clued above the foremast. An alternatively light air sail is a triangular mule. Some Bermuda schooners have a rectangular boomed sail clued to the foremast but although it can be self-tacking, it will be smaller in area than a mainstay sail and its use complicates flying a fisherman. Multi-masted schooner sailplane Multi-masted staysail schooners usually carried a mule above each staysail except the fore staysail. Gaff-rigged schooners generally carry a triangular fore and aft topsail above the gaff sail on the main topmast and sometimes also on the fore topmast, called a gaff topsail schooner. A gaff-rigged schooner that is not set up to carry one or more gaff topsails is sometimes termed a bare-headed or bald-headed schooner. A gaff schooner may carry a square topsail atop the foremast. A schooner with no bowsprit is known as a knockabout schooner. A cat rig schooner not only has no bowsprit but has no head sails, and has the foremast set as far forward as possible. Schooner rationale. Sailing vessels with a single mast will typically be sloops or cutters, either with a Bermuda or a gaff mainsail. There is little economic justification for the cost and complexity of a second mast unless the vessel is reasonably large, above 50 feet low. If a vessel size requires a second mast, the sail plan will usually be a schooner, ketch or yawl, all of which are fore and aft rigged. Although the topsail schooner variant carries one or more square topsails on its foremast, the two topsail schooner variant carries square topsails on both the main mast and the foremast. The schooner may be distinguished from both the yule and the ketch by the disposition of its masts, and thus the placement of the mainsail. On the yule and ketch, the mainsail is flown from the forward mast or main mast, and the aft mast is the mizzen mast. A two-masted schooner has the mainsail on the aft mast, and its other mast is the foremast. Compared to a single-masted vessel, all the two-masted vessels can have a lower center of pressure in the sail plan. Although the catch is more popular than the schooner in Europe, the schooner is arguably more efficient. The schooner can carry a larger sail area, because of its much larger mainsail and the effect of sail between the masts. Also, in a schooner, all the sails work together in a complementary fashion, optimizing airflow and drive. By contrast, on a catch, or especially a yawl, the miss and sail provides proportionately less power, being smaller than, and frequently blanketed by, the mainsail. The catch however offers advantages in sail handling in poor weather. Multi-masted schooners while schooners were initially defined as having two masts, three-masted schooners were first introduced around 1800. In the late 19th century, additional masts were added as schooners were built with as many as six masts or seven masts to carry a larger volume of cargo. The only seven-masted schooner, the Thomas W. Lawson, was built in 1902, with a length of 395 feet, the top of the tallest mast being 155 feet above deck, and carrying 25 sails with 43,000 square feet of total sail area. It was manned by a crew of only 16. A two- or three-masted schooner is quite maneuverable and can be sailed by a smaller crew than some other sailing vessels. The larger multi-masted schooners were largely a cost-cutting measure introduced towards the end of the days of sail. Construction Essex, Massachusetts was the most significant shipbuilding center for schooners. By the 1850s, 
Over 50 vessels a year were being launched from 15 shipyards and Essex became recognized worldwide as North America's center for fishing schooner construction. In total, Essex launched over 4,000 schooners, most headed for the Gloucester, Massachusetts fishing industry. Bath, Maine was another notable center, which during much of the 19th century had more than a dozen yards working at a time, and from 1781 to 1892 launched 1352 schooners, including the Wyoming operation. Schooners were used to carry cargo in many different environments, from ocean voyages to coastal runs and on large inland bodies of water. They were popular in North America. In their heyday, during the late 19th century more than 2,000 schooners carried on the Great Lakes. Three masted turns were a favorite rig of Canada's maritime provinces. Schooners were used in North American fishing, especially the Grand Banks fishery. Some Banks fishing schooners such as Blue Nose also became famous races. Two of the most famous racing yachts, America and Atlantic, were rigged as schooners. They were about 152 feet in length. Famous schooners. Adventurous, 1913 BB. Crown in shield design. America, eponym of the America's Cup. Blue Nose, a Canadian racing and fishing vessel. Brutus, one of the vessels of the first Texas Navy. Casco, yacht which Robert Louis Stevenson chartered in 1888 for his voyage to the South Seas. Charming Betsy, the eponym of a famous canon of statutory interpretation. Clotilde, the last ship to bring African slaves to the United States. Delawana, a Canadian fishing vessel and race winner. Demeter, from Dracula, by Bram Stoker, a Russian schooner transporting Count Dracula from the Balkans to London. Duncan, from In Search of the Castaways by Jules Verne, referred to as a yacht but described as a two-mast topsail schooner with combined sail, steam propulsion, FEM. Morrissey, now Ernestina, the oldest surviving Grand Banks fishing schooner, US Enterprise, fired the first shots in the First Barbary War, later rebuilt as a brig and fought in the War of 1812. Enterprise, the ship that brought the first First European settlers to Melbourne, Australia, Esperanto, Gloucester, Massachusetts fishing schooner, winner of the 1920 International Fisherman's Cup, Fram, the legendary Norwegian polar ship used by both Nansen and Armand Sein in their exploration of the Poles, HMS Halifax built as Nova Scotia packet in 1765, well-documented early colonial schooner, US Hanna, the first armed American naval vessel, Hispaniola from Robert Louis Stevenson's Treasure Island, Independence, one of the vessels of the first Texas Navy, Invincible, one of the vessels of the first Texas Navy, La Amistad, ship on which a famous slave revolt occurred. Liberty, one of the vessels of the first Texas Navy. Liverpool Packet, a famous Nova Scotian privateer schooner. Nellie J. Banks, Canadian rum runner. HMS Pickle, carried the news of Nelson's victory and death at Trafalgar back to Britain. Pride of Baltimore, a Baltimore clipper recreation sunk in a white squall. Rich Harvest, a 72-foot ferrocement staysail schooner, infamous as the offshore off-license. RYS Royalist sailed to Borneo by James Brooke, enabling him to become first white Rajas of Sarawak. San Antonio, one of the vessels of the Second Texas Navy, and sister ship to the La Amistad, San Jacinto, and San Bernard. San Bernard, one of the vessels of the Second Texas Navy, and sister ship to the La Amistad, San Antonio, and San Jacinto. San Jacinto, one of the vessels of the Second Texas Navy, and sister ship to the La Amistad, San Antonio, and San Bernard. Separation Dominicana, the first armed Dominican Navy vessel. Thomas W. Lawson, the only seven-mastered schooner. We're here, from Rudyard Kipling's book Captain's Courageous.
Wyoming, the largest wooden schooner, ZACA, a wood-hulled schooner appropriated by the U.S. Navy for local patrol of the San Francisco area in World War II. Zavala, one of the vessels of the Second Texas Navy, and the first steamship of war in the Western Hemisphere. Zodiac, 1924 William Hand, Jr. Design, Gallery, the schooner yacht Wyvern R.Y.S. 205 tons, 1840, German former pilot schooner at Atlanta, Canadian schooner, Pacific Grace, 2001, U.S. schooner Red Witch of Chicago, two-masted fishing schooner, Amphitrite, the world's oldest seagoing yacht, Finnish schooner Linden, Spirit of Bermuda, a Bermuda-rigged schooner, French topsail schooner La Recouvrance, Topsail schooner Pride of Baltimore II, French Navy two-masted schooner Atoyle, U.S. topsail schooner Californian, N.I. topsail schooner Eustachelder, the Margaret Todd in Bar Harbor, Maine.